One of the really cool widgets that's in PubCoder is the matching game. So to do this by hand, or if you had to code this, it'd be a lot involved, but you're able to do some simple little drag and drop things once you supply the images to create a simple little matching game. So I can keep clicking here to find where, hey, there's a match. There's a match and the last one. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about one, how we put the images together for this, as well as how you can bring it into PubCoder to get it done. So I'm going to jump over to Photoshop. Now, for me in Photoshop, I have all of my different images here that were created by uh, my illustrator. Uh, Mr. Chris Cartlidge. So I have a little textured background on this one layer. And on the other layers, I have the characters. So there's a spoon and each of the pieces that are here. Now, to be totally honest, what I did with some of these was I went in and I also would add in a shadow or a shadow for the bottom of it. So, for instance, let's see, we also did the characters. We also needed a main little, the back of the card. What is it supposed to look like? So I added this little guy here. Also added a small little section. So it kind of tells people where they can click. And added the shadow. And what I would do for each one of these is I would simply go to file. And I would save out or export. And I do save for web legacy. And I'd save each of these out as a PNG. So once I'd save this part out, I'd save it as the little background or uh, back of the card. I would save that. Then I would go in and turn these layers off. And I come up and do a totally different layer and then save that one out. Okay. So once all of that is done, I ended up with, I have eight images as far as the characters. And then I also have the back of the card. So it's nine in all. So if we go over to PubCoder, what I want to do is I am going to one, go over to my objects and drag in the memory game. Now, what I can do is I'm going to come over here to our selection and I want to change a few things here. One, I want to make the width and height of this. I'm just going to do 800 by 800. Now I could make that a little bit smaller, but I'm just going to leave that here for now. And to get the images in, I'll simply double click and it will ask me to either drag the files here or click to add. So I'll click and import images from disk. And I have here the match game PSD. So I also have the match back. I don't need that. I just need the images. So click Humpty here, hold on my shift key, select the last one and click open. All right. And once we're done, I can go ahead and close this window. All right. So this is where we have everything set up. I'm going to go back over here to our selection area. And the back image right now says default. We can click here and import the image from disk. And so I'll select the match back PNG. All right. And now we can adjust the sizing here. So if you look down here where it says zoom, it says 0.25. I'm going to make this 0.75. And you notice that the sizing has changed. I'm going to also come down here 
and change the inner and outer margins. So instead of the inner margin being 10 pixels, I think I want to set this to three pixels. And so it kind of spreads it out a little bit better. And last but not least, let's go ahead and try this out really quick. So we see all of our little back parts here. If I click and try to find something else. Hey, wow, that was first one up. So that's working. But what we need to do now is add one last little thing here. I'm going to add in the sound. So I want to have a sound so it sounds like the cards are flipping over. So let's go back here and go to our selection. And it says flip card sound, select audio. And I'm going to go import audio from disk. And this is a sound I literally recorded. I just kept flicking on a card until I got the sound that I wanted. And we'll click open. And now when we try this out, we have the sound. So by just making sure you've got enough images, we use eight images, and we created a little back of the card image and a sound image, we were able to go in and create a simple little matching game. So try this out and see what you can come up with.